Okay, so we look at this cam. We bring this number one with a little notch in the gear, line it up with this line. And the other cam just has a line in it. Yeah, it's got a line and a notch. And you'll line it up with a mark on the top of the other one. So that's how you prepare. And this point with this cam will have to line up with that arrow right there. And that's how you prepare it. So you know everything is in the correct place. Okay, there's the tensioner, 10 millimeter bolt on the top and bottom. Take the bolt off, swing it away, it'll release the tension. Take the other bolt off, and the tensioner's off. Okay, we're down to the water pump. We've got two bolts on this side, and three on the other side, take those off, and the water pump will come off. We'll pull this stuff off and put on the new one. Okay, it was a 916th I used to get this off. It was really on there tough. I was thinking I might have to break out the pneumatic, but I got it. All right, I used a little bit of this mega grit and put the seal in the back side of the water pump. Then for the tensioner for the timing belt, bolt that on with a little bit of blue Loctite. Used a 916 socket on the tensioner. Okay, we've got nine pounds on the five 10 millimeter bolts. One under here, two, three, four, five. So that's the water pumps on. Then in the actual putting the timing belt on, I first put it on the lower hub here ran it past this wheel. I got it all hooked into this camshaft. Then around to this camshaft and then to the tensioner since that will take up any slack that's left over. If you have to, if these marks don't line up, then just turn this camshaft clockwise just slightly enough to get it on a gear that will, when it's tight, tight, it will make the lines line up and then wrap around the water pump and then back up to this one and if you need to, to move this clockwise to get it on a nub that will uh, make it so the marks line up when everything's on. And of course, rotate the whole thing twice around and see if all the marks line up again. And if they do, you can start putting everything back together. Okay, this is the tensioner for the timing belt. I took the 516 bolt off. I'm keeping it upright because there's oil in there to lubricate this. As you see, there's a slot for a screwdriver. Just put in a small screwdriver and turn it clockwise. That will pull the plunger in and you, as you're turning it, slide it in. You know, I put it on the bottom on the uh, bracket here that I picked up at a Honda dealership, Hopkins Honda. They were nice enough to just give me an extra one every time they put in a new tensioner that comes with one of these 
things and the mechanic said here you can just have it that was really nice of him so I put the screwdriver down in the middle there turned it there is a spring on the screw so it is trying to fight you as you're turning it so expect that and as soon as it's retracted enough then you know you get this all the way on this top end and then we uh, put the screw back in the top be sure not to turn it sideways you don't want to lose that oil that's in there for lubricating the mechanism and uh, then we'll put this on and tension up this okay uh, here you see I've got the tensioner mechanism bolted in I first did the top bolt then swung it in and got the bottom bolt tighten them up so it's pushing against that tensioner there and now is when of course I tighten that bolt on the end before I turned it down you know the change the angle to let the oil out so now we just carefully slide this off and uh, then the tensioner will be back in place. I'll do that when I don't have to. Okay, now that I've got the belt on, ran it around a few times, it lined up again, and I'm ready to put all these back on, put the cover back on, and uh, of course we can see we're all the bolt, bolts are going to go that we need to put back in.